Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I've decided that I was gonna use the last seven days of December, so as I'm filming, it is still December, um, to do a seven day mask challenge. I heard if you do like a mask every day, it's not that good, but some people it works really well. So I decided to try it for myself and I'm gonna use seven different face masks for seven days in a row. So this is the intro where you're probably gonna last see me with makeup on in this video. And after this, it's gonna be me without makeup for the rest of the video, which is seven days for me. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, not the best angle, but um, I just finished dyeing my hair, which is two weeks ago, I think for you guys. I'm going to use a 4% niacinamide mask. It comes with this thing that you're supposed to put on after. So for those of you who don't really use niacinamide, just know that you can't just start off with 4%. It's best if you build up tolerance to it. There's a lot of juice. I know it's not called juice, but I call it juice. Let me put this on. I like this because it's like, it fits my face really well. I do have to fold these down though. You see how well it fits my face? I mean, it's slightly big here, but nothing a little fold won't do. And it's like very thin. I'm gonna leave it on for 25 minutes and then I'm going to let it sit for like five, 10 minutes. And then I'm actually gonna go rinse my face. Okay, so it's been 18 minutes exactly. Okay, I think I'm gonna go give it a rinse now and then I'm gonna come back and use this. Okay, so I just rinsed my face. I know some people don't like to rinse their face because they feel like it's a waste of product. But for me, it's like, it gets a little too sticky throughout the rest of the night and it's like a little uncomfortable. And I feel like during the mask process, your skin is already soaked up as much as it can. So now I'm gonna use this little thing that comes with it. It's enough for two of my faces. And then I'm gonna finish off with my face cream. So, I will see you tomorrow! So this is day two out of seven of the seven day face mask challenge. And I'm about to go take my makeup off and then we're gonna be using a highly moisturizing essence mask pack today. Let's do that. So comparing this to last night's mask, the mask itself is a little rougher and it feels a little thicker. I have never actually used this mask before, but I have used this brand's products before. The worst part about doing face masks in the winter is that it's so cold. I'm gonna keep it on for 18 minutes because I think it took me maybe two to three minutes to just put this on. It's a little past 20 minutes and I forgot to take my mask off. There's still like excess on my face, but the mask itself is a lot drier than the one compared to yesterday, but at least it didn't like dry my face. Okay, so I think it has taken in as much as it can. I'm gonna go rinse off the rest and then I'm gonna come back and finish off with my skincare routine for the night. So I am back. I use a serum and then I use a face cream. And that's basically it. I don't do too much. So for day three, I'm going to be using Vitaronic Advanced Brightening. It's also a Korean brand. I think most of my collections for this week are like Korean brand. It smells citrusy. 20 minutes. Hello, 20 minutes is up. I'm taking this off. I'm gonna pat dry and go rinse my face. And then I'm going to update about how I feel about my skin tomorrow. So it's gonna be day four tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna let day three kind of settle in. Good morning. So this is the morning of day four. Um, so day four's mask isn't happening until tonight, but I just wanted to update how it felt after three days. Cause during the first two days, it's like the immediate effect was soft and bright. And obviously, cause usually after a mask, that's how your skin kind of reacts anyways. But this morning I woke up and I felt like my skin was still like very soft and it looks a lot like brighter. The colors are a little more like even. I don't know if it's gonna show, but I think 
just overall my skin looks a lot better i have like little red dots i don't know what these are but they're just always there okay so tonight i'm using a hyaluronic acid peach essence mask sheet also for 15 to 20 minutes this is s folio brand it's one of the korean brands that i use a lot 20 minutes and then i'm gonna let it sit again rinse it come back and finish with skincare Okay, 20 minutes is up. Okay, so we are finally at day six and today I'm gonna focus on mainly moisturizing and hydration. But I think so far the biggest thing I've noticed is that my skin is a lot more hydrated because I do have like dry skin and my pores do seem to be smaller. So, oops, I forgot to show you today. It's supposed to look like this. But today I'm using a milk one pack face mask it's also a korean brand because i have tried a lot of other like brands and they seem to just sting my face I'm not gonna lie i feel like my eye bags are also like not as dark everyone's asleep so i'm not like i don't want to talk too loud i don't know if it's noticeable on camera but i have like really really bad eye bags but i'm gonna go finish off with skincare and then i will see you guys tomorrow good night Okay, so this is finally day seven. It's the last day of this challenge and we're gonna finish off strong. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is, well, I already cleaned my face, but the first thing I'm gonna do today is actually I'm going to clean my pores with this. I'm really just gonna put it here like on my nose and then this area before I use my final mask. I think I'm actually gonna do this area too. And after it dries, you can actually see like the little dots where the pores are and then you just kind of wash it off. Okay, so it's basically dry and I don't know, I'm not seeing too many pores. I think it's probably because like my pores kind of shrunk a little bit. Last day, last mask. It's Olay Luminous Niacinamide Vitamin C Sheet Mask. Seventh, finally, entire... Ew. Alright guys, so I kind of just finished up with uh, the washing and the skincare routine and so everything is done. We're gonna check back tomorrow morning for the final results and unfortunately, I think I see a pimple right here. Like seriously, on day 7 when I finish. Seriously. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna check back tomorrow morning so I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, so this is after day 7, the morning of day 8. Today, I'm not doing any more face masks, so the challenge is officially ended. I am going to show you what my face looks like now. So I don't actually have any makeup on except for lipstick. Um, so let's see. The pimple from last night disappeared on its own. My face looks pretty bright to me. It feels pretty hydrated. It feels very nice. I think it's worth doing it, but I would recommend really just letting the stuff soak and then kind of just rinsing it off. Especially, you don't want it to be like too thick and covering up all the time. You want your skin to breathe. That is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!